Now, Jeff Bezos made a few mistakes in his life, but there are major ones. First, marrying his ex-wife and then her coming, shatagging half of his fortune. Second, getting into business with Mr. Jimmy, Mr. Beast himself. And third, shaving his head fully with a razor and going out in the sun in public with other people around and absolutely blinding everyone because... God damn! Have you seen the shiny on his forehead? Have you seen how shiny his head is? His ex-wife, current wife, current girlfriend, mistress, whatever, they don't need a mirror in their life. All they have to do if they're in public or, you know, even at home, go bloop, bring Jeff's head and look in the cell, fix their makeup, fix their teeth, whatever's inside it, and then bloop, goes back on. It is so shiny, I want to play... Uh, Jeff, I want to, Uncle Jeff, I want to give you $5 only to put baby oil on your forehead and then <laughs> shut up it. The pleasure, anyways, we're getting off topic. Now, the topic we're going to talk about today is why is Mr. Beast Amazon's biggest mistake? If you're not aware, Mr. Beast signed a gigantic deal with Amazon in March of 19, 2024. This year, even bigger than KSI's forehead. And he was given a budget of $100 million dollars to shoot this reality TV show, whatever it is. Now, the reason Amazon decided to collab with Mr. Beast in March of 2024 is because they want to set the biggest reality show in history. Because as you know, Prime is just trying to step up his game to just shoot Netflix out of the game. They've been doing big things, spending big money. And with this TV reality show, they decided to bring something new that Netflix hasn't yet. They were giving out, according to Mr. Beast, $20 million dollars has been set to give give out to people, but the ground price being $5 million with 2,000 con 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 contestants. Throughout the show, I think I am allowed to say this, we gave away over $20 million throughout the show. The first 1,000 contestants were eliminated in a series that happened in Las Vegas. And as we all know, Mr. Beast always likes to do big things, always set records. I know you, Jimmy, just got done shooting your Amazon show, oh my gosh, which yes. from what it sounds like, is going to be the biggest game show in history ever. Yeah. You all y'all broke how many Guinness World Records shooting so, it? We broke over 40 world records while filming Beast Games. It's my Amazon yeah. show I'm driving later this year. Yeah. Most contestants of any game show in history, largest cash prize of any game show in history, most cameras recording simultaneously of any production in history. Um I can go on and on. I mean it's if there's a world record for game shows we broke it and we even broke a lot of stuff that have nothing to do with game shows i would say one thing he loves more than money is his views actually i like to take the back no he loves money more than anything after everything we discovered about mr beast money is number uno and obviously having two thousand people to compete in prices in one of the games one of the interviews that i saw online which you're gonna see once the reality show comes out is there's going to be like a 200 people on this side and 200 people on this side and they're playing tug of war what can go wrong when 200 people when i play with 10 people and we're pulling tug of war five people this side five people the other side we always fucking fall on each other and just injure each other and we had a laugh about it but imagine 200 people imagine one guy just slips and fucking 150 people just falls on them it's a shit show and the biggest shit show was in las vegas and the second biggest shit show that happened was in Toronto, which was the second stage of the whole game. Now let's pause on the fuck ups on the Mr. Beast games. We're gonna go back to that later, later on. Let's talk about why Mr. Beast is the biggest mistake that Amazon has made. It all started when Mr. Ava got exposed and YouTube's homepage was filled with Mr. Ava stuff. And to this day, I wanna say hundreds of new allegations. Maybe I'm ex exaggerating, maybe like around 50 to 80 new allegations, I would say, came against Mr. Beast. And usually when these allegations, this so much backlash and drama comes towards you, your sponsors, your brand deals, the people you work with, the people you're in business with, anything, this is what they do. I don't know him. They will shit you out and flush you out and make sure the public knows it as well. But when it comes to Mr. Beast is at the top of his game, there is no good getting out. Even Mr. Beast's dog, animal, cat, whatever he has, his bird has an NDA that if a bird flies away, the bird will get sued. So Amazon is now stuck with Mr. Beast after all the mess up, after all the allegations has come out towards Mr. Beast. And Mr. Beast is just pretending like nothing happened, just going with it. He even showed up in the impulsive podcast with logan paul and ksi they sat down they talked about a lot of things including the beast games but never about any of the allegations or anything that you know anything bad happened in the past couple months 
they ha he hasn't addressed any of it, even though he said, like, what, two months ago that he's going to, to Ludwig? Now, I did talk to Mr. Beast. I called him, and I said two things. One, when are you going to reply? And he echoed what was said in the dog pack video, which is uh, when everything comes out, he's going to make one reply as opposed to a reply after every single video. Uh, so we'll see when that happens. He also said in that interview that he spent more than the budget that he was given. So he spent even more than $100 million. But you spent way more. I, I, but yes, I also spent way more than $100 million. I somehow got <laughs> one of the largest unscripted sh deals in history and then managed to lose tens of millions of dollars filming. Bro. The and guess whose pocket is that going to come out of? <laughs> you guessed it right. If Jeff Bezos had hair, he would be pulling it out. But he doesn't, so he probably does his ass hair or eyebrow. I don't know. Now, you might tell yourself, how would this, you know, affect Amazon? They're just doing Beast games. It's just Mr. Beast videos. His allegation doesn't have to do anything. Well, this is where you're wrong because Mr. Beast and Amazon have been sued. Just like the video we covered literally two weeks ago. Why? Because of the Beast fuck-ups. Easy. He's literally being sued by both the contestants and the staff who work at Mr. Beast and the third-party staff who were hired by Mr. Beast as well. Now, this is where the juicy drama starts. In Las Vegas, contestants reported having their medication withheld. So any medication that you have, you need to give it to the staff before you enter the whole thing. And uh, we will let you know once you have it. Oh, you need your inhaler? Too bad. Breathe air. You have diabetes, skill issues. Why are you here in the first place? <laughs> it's just so stupid. Why would you want to take away their medication? For what? You're afraid someone's gonna cheat and inject someone with diabetes shot that the other person will lose and fucking lose consciousness? Why would you take away their medication? Now, anything we're reading from here is from Rolling Stone and according to them, it's been confirmed because they've been up every contestants and the staff working their asses and they've been asking a lot of questions. So thanks to them, we have all this information. He said uh, there were medications were withhold, being injured and sleeping on stadium floors. With many saying they were speaking out in hopes that the production would improve, but according to six crew members who worked in Toronto as well as several contestants, conditions on the reality show shows productions were dangerous. So obviously when you bring 2,000 people, you need to think of their expenses, their food that you're paying for, because you are not literally paying them to be there, you're giving them a chance for a price. If you want to give them this chance, and if you want to make it the biggest TV show in history, Obviously, you need to consider all the, you know, not only the safety in your show, but also where are they sleeping, where are they eating, where there was a picture literally in the lobby of photo, everyone with the garbage bag, like a thousand people. And now according to them, they were sleeping on the floor, they were waiting, there was a lot of wait list to book the room. This shit should have been prepared from before. Now, the second episode of the whole show was shot in Toronto and still more shit happened as we covered it, covered it in the last two Mr. Beast videos, I would say, where crew members who worked at the Toronto leg of the event described a potentially unsafe working environment that was disorganized, wild, and staffed with a crew with a little experience on the project of this scale. But Beast games have no precedent. It's a fiery fest kind of feeling. One crew member who worked in Toronto and left the production early says that there's a reason why this level of production hasn't been attempted before. It certainly should never have been attempted without people that know what they are doing. So if you didn't know a crew member was injured because a concrete six feet concrete wall just fell on his legs and several contestants were injured in this whole situation as well and the uh, 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 staff member production team they're like oh oh they didn't know basically what to do it's like putting 100 kids in a classroom with one teacher and expect everything to be fine it is not going to find you need more people you need more space you need a lot of things in this whole situation my best guess is jimmy cheapened out and he put his money in his pocket and decided to you know the budget that he got to gamble most of it and just spend a, as much as little as he can on the whole experience for the whole staff and the contestants themselves also according to new york times some contestants claim that they have not received adequate food or medical care like you know healthy food they were instead receiving lunch leave which only had real cheese and some of the competitors have suffered injuries from physical challenges as well they described the whole competition as chaos which led to six hospitalized both contestants acknowledged that the production was put in a bad position 
when trying to bring Donaldson's vision to life. One contestant who made it through the round to Toronto tells Rolling Stone that they slept on the ground of the stadium and were confined to their hotel rooms, none of which they were warned of you know, beforehand. They were in over their heads and they didn't know what to do. This is what they said. Like people were just doing things that they couldn't control. The best way I could relate Amazon and Mr. Beast is Mr. Beast is Homelander and Amazon is Valk. Amazon wants to let go of Mr. Beast, but Mr. Beast is so strong with his NDAs that he is going to shut out Amazon with a huge loss. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that Mr. Beast already had these paperwork ready and signed by Amazon before they made any decisions going forward and there's no backing out of the deal until the whole thing is done. You cannot go out basically, in no matter what. Because 100% after all these allegations, there's no way that Amazon wouldn't back off from this whole thing. I'm not talking about like, oh, Mr. Beast didn't high five one of his fans. Oh my God, backlash. He's he's not humble at all. We're not talking about that. We're talking about Mr. Beast punching the shit out of that kid. This is a type of backlash and drama that Mr. Beast is into currently. And believe it or not, there are many, many other things as well that is coming against Mr. Beast. Like this whole live stream where they promised to give 25 people $10,000, which sums up to $250,000. And they're saying that they've been ghosted for the past six weeks. For that person that's at Feastables, uh, whatever. To oh, oh wait, toasty. wait, that's Toasty again. All right, Toasty, you already won 10 grand. It cancels out. Right, and Toasty reposted, I don't know if you guys remember this, but Mr. Beast promised me $10,000. I was reached out to after the stream to be put on the list, but they have stopped all communications about six weeks ago. We also have a Mr. Beast AI situation, but also back to the whole Beast games. Mr. Beast said on his um, you know podcast with Logan Paul and KSI that he spent $15 million for that, you know, to build a whole village for the contestants so they can rest over there, so they can all stay in one spot and it became much easier once you know the number just reduced it the first literally after las vegas it went from 2000 to a thousand contestants and just during the whole competition challenges a lot of people just got eliminated so it's just much easier for the crowd control but still if you want to bring 2000 people you gotta make sure everyone is safe if you want to make history you don't want to go down as the guy who fucked up making history you want to go as the guy who did a great job at making history so long story short mr beast puts himself as a humble guy who doesn't care about money who lives a simple life but behind closed doors he's a gambling addict as we covered up in the last video all he cares about is money he doesn't care he wants to make history he wants to put his name out there and my best guess is he's holding amazon on a leash Maybe I'm wrong, but this is my best guess. This is what makes sense right now because there's no way Amazon would have stayed after all these allegations. They won't be like, justice for Mr. Beast, all of you are wrong. He didn't hire a registered person. How dare you? There's absolutely no way after this 7,000 allegations that came towards them over the past three, four months that they would keep him. And if you think this is the last Mr. Beast drama, there will be no more Mr. Beast drama. Well, you are mistaken, my friend, because Mr. Jimmy, this is the gates have opened and there will be exposition after exposition. Diddy's party ended, Mr. Beast's party started, literally. But anyways, just wanted to update you with this whole situation. As usual, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're new here, like and subscribe. Take it easy. I'll see you at the next one.